Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey, how are uh, you? How are you doing? Good to see Good you. To see you too. What's going on? Wow, what's going on? Can't complain. I mean, same old, same old. What are you doing down here? Enjoying the weather? I'm just doing me, oh. doing that, doing here, that. By the way, Merry Christmas. Uh, no, no, no. We do happy holidays. We don't do Merry Christmas. Oh, do you have any plans for this Christmas break? <laughs> plans? Yeah. Help the poor, raise the dead. I mean, do this, do that. Um, help the poor, especially something that gets my mind off my drama. So that's wow, what I do. that is really, really nice. Thank you. I mean, uh, that's what it is about, right? I mean, doing good things. Is it? Yeah. I mean, good finders of great joy. Blah blah blah. I mean, that's 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 what it is. Oh. So what about God becoming a man? I mean, the actual reason for this season? <laughs> God becoming a man, let me just be honest with you, okay, this child birth, virgin birth, I don't do that. For me, I'm a grown adult. I'm too civilized to be an adult with this juvenile stuff. I just say, that's not for me. I'm grown, I'm an adult, I don't do that. That's not for me. Do you have a minute? I would love to tell you a story. I mean, a story full of love, forgiveness, and a whole lot of drama. Well, it's a Friday. I got no plans. I mean, yeah, we could do that. Oh, great. Um, what about us going down to Victory Cafe and grab some coffee? Are you paying? <laughs> yes, I will pay, sir. Okay, if you're paying, I'm coming. Come on, let's, <laughs> let's have some coffee. Okay. 2,000 years ago, Mary is sitting outside her house in Galilee, reading a book. When Joseph, the man she plans to marry, walks in. Well, I'm trying to learn more about the laws of Moses and how to be a good wife. You know, now that we are engaged, yeah. I need to get myself familiar with these things. I have no problems there. You're a good woman. I think you're going to be a good wife. Oh, thanks, Joe. So what brings you here today? Wait. Can't I come and visit the uh, woman I'm going to marry? Just a question. Uh -uh. I mean, I'm just curious. What? And Wait, sit down. I need to tell you something. What is it? Just sit, just sit. This is exciting. Okay. Look, I just heard my parents, and they were talking about coming over to meet your parents to talk about the engagement. <laughs> yes. Really? This day is fun. Oh it's my God, I can't believe this. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, I mean, I finally get to be your wife. Yeah. Oh. I know. <sighs> When I think about you, all I can think of is the love that we share. <sighs> when I found you, I found somebody who cares. When I found you, found my most intimate prayer. When I found you, I found what every heart dreams of. When I found you, I found love. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. 
house today. Okay. Guess what? Hey, mommy, just tell me. They came to fix a date for <laughs> the engagement. Wait, 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 relax. Uh -uh. Relax. See, now you are a woman about to become a wife in two weeks. Yes, two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. I can't believe this. Oh I know, God. I know. I am so happy for you, sweetie. See, we thank Jehovah for making everything beautiful. I am so happy for you that you are soon going to be a wife. No? Uh, uh, oh, wait, wait. Don't get too excited. Um, let me go finish what I was doing inside, it's okay? okay? Mommy, good night, it's, mommy. Don't stay up too late. I will, oh. mommy. Good, good night. night. Good night. Praise that night in her room. I will exalt you, my God and King. I will praise you forever and ever. Every day I will praise you. I will extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation will commend thy works to another. They will tell of the mighty acts. They will speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty. I will meditate on your wonderful works. They will tell of the power of your awesome majesty. And I'll prove this. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassion, they fail as thou hast been and forever will be, great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, more in thy morning, new mercies I see, all I have to be Greetings, you are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary, you have found favor with God. You will, give, you will conceive and give birth to a son, and you have to call him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High. His kingdom will never end. But how would this be since I'm still a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born of you is to be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For with God, nothing is impossible. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would someday walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would say a song's and Did you know? Has come to make you near the child that you 
deliver We soon deliver you Mary, did you know That your baby boy Who gave sight to a blind man Mary, did you know That your baby boy Would come a storm with his hand Did you know That your baby boy Has walked with angels strong when you kiss your little baby, you've kissed the face of God. Mary, did you know? Sam, this is a true story. This isn't a fiction. I just started. Can you let me continue? Okay. Thank you. I am the Lord, Sam. Mary! Mary! Why did you just leave like that? You left the day after our engagement and you went away for three months. I didn't know anything. I don't know what happened. What is happening? What, what happened? It's not like that. Joe. Marriage is about communication, you know. If we're going to be married, we have to communicate. Hey, it, was, it was urgent. I'm sorry. I just had to leave. I'm sorry, Joe. Okay, look. Okay, fine. Well, is everything okay? There's something I need to tell you about, Joe. You just Look, just you're up. starting to scare me. What, what's happening? I'll tell you. Just, just have a sit. I mean, you just go away just like that. <laughs> Joe, on, on the night of our engagement, I was by my bedside praying, and, and an angel of the Lord appeared to me. And he called me by name. He called me by name. He said that, that I will c conceive and give birth to a son. And he will be called Jesus, son of the most high. That, <laughs> that he will be great and, and will reign forever. That, that the Lord will give him the, the throne of his father, David. And he will rule over the descendants of Jacob forever. Uh, I'm... Mm. I mean, I asked him how this will be since I'm still a virgin. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> he, he, he said that the Holy Spirit will overshadow me and, and will overpower me, and that's how I will conceive that, that the son who is to be born be called Jesus, son of the Most High. I mean, that, that was what the angel said. So let me get this straight. You're pregnant. That was what the angel said. <laughs> Come on, Mary. You're smarter than that. You can't get pregnant unless you've been with a man. Is I, that what's happening here? I, I didn't do anything. I'm not making this up, Joe. Oh, look. How stupid do you think I am? You think I'm a fool? No, Joe. Oh, I get it. So that's why you went to Judea. That's, no, it. that's no, where you've been for no. three months? You have to believe me, Joe. I didn't do anything. Who is this guy, anyway? No, no but he's just the angel, Joe. Is he, is he from this? Is he from Judea? But why do you say such things, Joe? It's not fair. I didn't force you. If you didn't want to get married, why did you go through with the engagement? You don't have to now talk you... like that, Joe. Oh. Please, you have to believe me. I didn't Look, do anything. Do you even love me? Of course I do. Well, well, you, you, have are, such... well, you have a very funny way of showing that. Oh, well, no, please. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Look, I, I don't know what's going on, and I don't know if I want to get involved in this. No, Joe, you can't be saying So you're pregnant, you're Holy Spirit, whatever you're saying. I can't deal with this right now. I gotta go. I can't marry you. you no, no, you can't say you can't, can't do, do that. No, Joe, you can't just leave I gotta, me. I gotta get out. Joe, please, please don't leave me, God. What? <laughs> what, God? You said I'm favored. You said I'm chosen. You said I'm blessed. Now, Joe, has left me. <laughs> what? <laughs> No, I'm not to forsake me. 
not just have a desire to call on the engagement. No, no. Alone in the world. It's just me and you. I feel so lost. Cause I don't know what to do. Now what if I choose the wrong thing to do? I'm so afraid, afraid of disappointing you. So I need to talk to you and ask you for your guidance, especially today when my mind is so heavy. You didn't tell me there's so much drama in this. This is a lot. I mean, I, I know it's a story about betrayal, but I'm, I'm used, used to it. it. I, I know it firsthand because my wife betrayed me. She betrayed my trust. Oh, Sam, I am so sorry about your wife. Remember I told you this is going to involve some drama? Oh, that is some bluff, yo. But, you know, this was never Mary's fault. She, I mean, she never asked to be chosen. I'm sure she wasn't even the only virgin in that land. But God chose her. Remember, God favored her. Favor? You call this favor? I mean, Mary could have said no. I mean, she, I mean she could have said no. And also, Joseph just wanted to marry her. I hope uh, Joseph do a DNA test because I wonder what the DNA test is going to be my Holy Spirit. Just saying. Oh my goodness, Sam. Um, but listen, there was no DNA back then. Yes, there was no DNA back then. I'll convene it. So what happens next? So, let me continue. Okay. Okay. Joseph, sitting on his bed in his room, Thinking about his conversation with Mary. This is impossible. How could Mary do this to me? I've tried to live a life all my life. I follow all the commandments. I observe the Sabbath day. How could Mary do this to me? Why would she betray me like this? Ah. Uh -huh. 
it's goodbye time Goodbye time I have to break up the engagement But if I do that I know this town very well. She's going to get stoned to death. I love her too much for that to happen. I have to do it in secret. That way her and her child can be saved. I really thought she was the one. Joseph, sleeping in his bed, moving restlessly on his bed, the angel of the Lord appears to him. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the one to be conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. I don't understand. Why are you still crying? <laughs> See, I told you. Can you tell me what this argument was all about? Please. <sighs> See, you know, couples quarrel. They fight. And then at the end, they make up. You know how I and your daddy always fight. Mary, please, okay? Whatever it is that happened between you and Joseph, I know he will come back. He will forgive you. No, mommy, not this time. What do you mean, not this time? Everybody knows that Joseph is a good man. He's a good man, and he loves you. Please, stop crying. Okay, you know what? I will talk to him. No, no, mommy, no. But why? <laughs> well, I, I just pray that Jehovah will help you and him. Because I know he, you will make a good wife to him. This wasn't your fault at all. You found favor with God. Please stop crying. Please. Joseph walks in. <sighs> I don't know what else to do. I wish I knew what the argument was all about. It's okay, Mary, please. You're breaking my heart. Please. Good day, ma'am. Oh, Joseph. I told you you'd come back. You're welcome, Joseph. Please sit down. I'll, I'll get you a, a cup of soya milk. Mary. What are you doing here? Look, I think we, we need to talk, okay? Talk? Yeah. Sit, sit down. Let's sit. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to say this. Angel of the Lord appeared to me <laughs> and uh, told me everything that happened. I'm so sorry that I ever doubted you Joe. and have to have you go through all of this. Oh, Joe. I'm so happy that the angel appeared to you and, and has explained everything, made it clearer to you. And I'm happy that you decided to take me back. Look, Joe, I, I want to promise you this as well. From the bottom of my heart. 
God. From this moment, life has begun. From this moment, you were the one right beside you. It's where I belong. From this. I have been blessed, I live only for your happiness and for your love, I give my last breath. cannot believe that especially with the angel coming to her and that kind of stuff well I would just say I know betrayal is a big deal uh, especially if you're betrayed trust me I know that personally I see it every day uh, but I could just say to my presenter I cannot believe it that that and I mean could you imagine the child the child having I mean Joseph knowing that the child is not his and all through taking care, of, taking care of a child that you know is not yours. That is, I can never do that. I told you this story was never about betrayal. This story is about love 
and forgiveness. Uh. You know, the love of God sending his only son to this entire world to die for our, you know, that's huge. I mean, to die you, for our how sins. How could you die? I mean, it doesn't make sense. I tell you, I mean, we sin to God every day, every single time. But guess what? He still forgives us, like, all of wow. our sins. I mean, the story isn't over yet. I'll Let me continue. Tell me more. Yes. Let me continue. Okay. As we begin the service, let's remember that the Lord is in his holy temple. Let the world be silent before him. Let's welcome the choir for their special number. My sermon for today is gifts for a king. Who is our king? God, Jehovah Jireh, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and Jacob, the giver of life himself. God does not need our wealth. He owns all things. God does not need our knowledge or our wisdom. God does not need our power. God does not need us or anything we possess. So what could we possibly give this our God? He deserves the best of our time. He deserves the best of our service. God deserves the best of our resources. As we go home this week, let's remember to give him our best. Let us rise as we pray. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you 
and give you peace. So they shall invoke my name on the sons of Israel, and I then will bless them. May the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob bless you as you go on your way. Amen. Amen. Members of the synagogue, they stand outside talking as they're being interrupted by an officer of the Lord. The proclamation of the mighty Caesar Augustus, the one and mighty ruler, mighty Caesar Augustus proclaims that every person, man, woman, male, female, should return to his or hometown for a census count immediately. I repeat, every person, man, woman, old or young, should return to their hometown immediately for a census count. This is the decree of the mighty Caesar Augustus. And so shall it be. I repeat, so shall it be. Long live, mighty Caesar Augustus, the one and only mighty ruler. Long live, the mighty Caesar Augustus, the one and only mighty ruler. Long live. Look, Caesar. Did you hear that? Yeah, so we have to go to Bethlehem immediately. Oh, the way to Bethlehem? Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appears and the soul felt his worth a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn fall on your Shepherds come to worship Jesus. Shepherds watch their 
to give Jesus gifts. child is born to us a son is given and the government will be upon his shoulders and he will be called wonderful counselor mighty God everlasting father prince of peace of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end he would reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness. From that time on and forever, the zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this.
Uh, I think the waitress is going to call my woo. Are you paying, right? <laughs> I said that earlier. Okay. I am going to pay, Because I am paying Jack. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, this is actually part of the season given. Yeah, well, well. But, but you know what, though? I would say, wow. Wow. Thank you for visiting Victor's Oh, she's paying. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you had a nice time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You've been helpful. Wow, you know what, though? There's a lot to Christmas that people don't talk about. It's more than just gifts. It's more than what you can get. It's about God's love and his gift to mankind. It is, it is amazing. Uh, we got to tell a lot of people about this. It's yes. amazing. Yes, you know, this, this is all about Jesus. I mean, the, the, the story of his birth shows us that love has no bounds, you it's, know? It's amazing. And um, why don't you tell a lot of people about this? Yes, um, just like now. I tell everyone at every opportunity that I get, you know? Wow. Would you, would you actually like to have a personal relationship with Jesus? I mean, with all the story and all that we've heard about, about the kindness and the love of Christ and all that he has done, yes. I, um, I am, I'm yes. really glad. I'm, I'm really glad, you know, the Holy Spirit. Um, yeah, has, yeah. I don't know what it you. is, but I'll say yes. <laughs> <laughs> would you mind I pray with you, Sam? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That's, yes, I feel so blessed. Yes. I'm yes, glad. Yes. I'm, I'm happy. Um, just say after me. Yes. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I know I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner? I know I'm a sinner. <laughs> and I ask for your forgiveness. And I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins. I believe that you died for my sins. And rose from the dead. And you rose from the dead. I trust and will follow you. I trust and will follow you. As my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. Guide my life. Guide my life. And help me to do your will. And help me to do your will. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sam, would you like to attend Christmas at my church? What church is that? RCCG Victory Temple in Bowie. Oh, the, the, the church where people drive big cars and all of that. I will also want you to be a partaker of those people driving big cars. Yeah, I'm as big. I'm, I'm in. <laughs> Great. Oh, it's, it's actually getting dark. Yeah, let's, we let's, can we can leave. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, ladies and, uh, first. Sure, thank you. Did you pay though? Uh, yes, and I I, <laughs> I also had a um, a tip. Okay. Tip. Yes. It is a pleasure. Thank you.
For further information, please visit rccgvictorytemple.org or call 301-352-0707.